I got a question from one of my newsletter subscribers who's on the steak and eggs diet. And what he said is he's eating two meals. One of them is uh, you know towards midday and the other one is towards the evening. And he said that he works out in the morning and he wanted to know if it's okay to work out in the morning but not to uh, eat until several hours later. And um, that's probably because of the thought about um, you know the anaerobic win the um, anabolic window like 20 minutes after your workout you need to eat and get your protein and everything in and and the same thing with uh, a pre-workout meal like you need to have a pre-workout meal to fuel you. Um, I used to believe that and do that and I still do for somebody who is y using carbohydrates for energy. Okay, because there's something that happens when you cut out the carbohydrates from your diet and you start using fat for energy. You see, the thing is, everybody knows when you eat a lot of carbohydrates, you know, you feel good, you get like a sugar high if you're eating a lot of sugar, or you just feel good if you're eating more complex carbohydrates. And then all of a sudden, you know, you have the sugar crash. Or if you're eating complex carbohydrates, you know, the energy goes away, okay? And you start to get hungry again, you start to get tired. That's why everybody, you know, like the big deal is lunch. You know, you go in looking forward to lunch because you're hungry. You eat lunch, a bunch of carbohydrates, then afterwards you just feel like laying down. And that has to do with your sugar, uh, you know, your insulin, your sugar, your body chemistry. But when you're on, when you are fat adapted, okay, when your body is using fat for energy, a lot of these rules don't really apply, okay? And I'm going to take uh, an example today. Today's Saturday. I'm not like, you know, it's not like a workout day for me, but I, I do something every day. Um, I woke up this morning at about 8, which is later than I wanted to wake up, um, started answering some emails, um, you know, somehow got into the kitchen and, uh, you know, wrote down a couple notes on things I have to do today. Long story short, I left late to go to the gym to go for a run. And uh, now it's like 12.45, okay? I'm on the way home from the gym. And I haven't eaten all day. And I burnt over 500 calories on the treadmill, okay? I was not hungry when I woke up. I was not hungry going into the gym. I was not hungry, nor did I lack any energy while I was on the treadmill for like, you know, almost 40 minutes. I basically burnt 500 calories on the treadmill. That's basically what I did. And, um, I, and I'm not hungry now afterwards, okay? I'm not lacking energy, I feel great, I'm in a wonderful mood because my body is fat adapted. You know, I still have enough body fat, <laughs> okay, uh, on my body to burn. If I had been depending upon carbohydrates for energy, which I have done before, I mean, my anaerobics diet is basically, you know, uses carbs before and after you work out. Um, I'd be I'd be like dying right now, okay? I'd wake up in the morning, I'd need my carbs, and you know, like I said, especially to work out, and then after I work out, I'd be depleted, I would need to replace the carbs. But like I said, if you're on a, uh, if your body's fat adapted, you really don't need to worry about um, how often you eat as much, okay? Um, I still recommend you eating several times a day, but like I said, you don't necessarily have to eat a specific pre and post workout uh, meal. So if you feel good waking up in the morning, going to the gym, getting your workout in, and then not eating until lunch, and you don't have any problems with it, if you feel fine because you're eating high fat, high protein, low carbs, then like I said, go with it. Because you know everything that I know about low carb, high fat, everything I know about that is you know just listen to your body, you know, it's very instinctive. And, um, you know, like I said, if you think to yourself, like something must be wrong because people talk about pre and post workout nutrition, but you're not feeling bad, just ignore it. Listen to your body. And, uh, like I said, as long as you feel good, as long as you don't have a problem with uh, not eating before or directly after your workout, I really wouldn't worry about post or pre workout nutrition while I'm fat adapted.